Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Everyday Makes and today we're going to come to you with our Wednesday video on a Saturday because Wednesday for us is kind of crazy. <laughs> so what we're going to bring to you is how to use your dies, or what I'm going to bring to you is how to use your dies to make a really cool different shaped background for your cards. So how can you create a cool background using your dies that still fits in the parameters of whatever shape that you're wanting to, if you're wanting to make a, a six by six card, an A2 size card, whatever slimline cards, whatever strikes your fancy. This is a really cool way that you can use the dies that you already have or some dies that maybe you want to pick up and create some cool backgrounds. All right, let me flip the camera around and let's get started. These cards would fit into a six by six or also this is an A2 size card where I'm gonna show you how to make this, but just look at all these really cool background dies. Any of these cool backgrounds, this background right here actually is what made this card. Um, and this background right here, I actually have it, it's over here ready to go, is what made, so just pretend there's actually one more die, is what makes this card. And so just look at the cool shapes that you can create. So think of some fun dies that you might have. All of these particular dies are from a company called TLC Designs. Um, Tammy is the owner, she's the creator, hence what the TLC, TLC is coming from. Thank you so much, Mary. <laughs> hi, Penny, hi, Becky, hello, everybody who's gotten on. And we're gonna create. Also, the Digi Designs on here are also from TLC Designs. So we're gonna work with this particular, I just wanna show you that there's lots of options. I'm gonna show you how to work with this particular die, but it works for a lot of dies, including also your, um, your, any, think of any larger die that you might have, all those nested dies that you have that may have fun shapes or fun designs. This technique works for all of them. All right, so let me show you that we're gonna build this guy together. All right, so what I have here is I have her die set, and if you notice, I took the biggest one off. I've already, it goes on the outside, and I'm only using the outer die and then the one that's smaller. That's how I made this inside piece. So let's, let me show you how I created that. So this one is called the daisy frame die. This is to make a cute daisy and there's lots of really cool nested frames within here, but any nested frame, this one is super cute because it creates a really cool looking card when it's all done, but lots of fun cards are out there. So I'm gonna get my die cutter out, open my die up. Here we go, I think I'm a little bit crooked on my camera angle, there we go. And then place my plates on, there we go. And I do like using a steel plate on this because it gives just a little bit more of a tooth to the card when I'm cutting with the metal. And no, it does not harm a die at all. So just as a heads up. Now, what I've done is I have, oh, and I played this on backwards. I'm glad I checked this. So I cut myself an A2 size card. And this is one that opens up vertically like this because my card is going to open up vertically. There it is. So this is what the card looks like. You guys want to see the other card? Tammy actually made this one, the owner of the company, and it's the same concept. You can see that it's got a fold right there, right? So this is the how you make the fun shape cards. So what I have done is I've went ahead and cut the shape of the card that I wanted it to be, the size of the card. If you want a six by six card, cut yourself whatever base you are using to six by six and fold it in half. So that would be a 12 and a half by six, or 12 by six, sorry. This one is cut to be an A2 size card going vertical. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down my die. Now, what I messed up on is I messed up and I put my uh, fold part actually at the open end. What you're going to do is you're going to place your die so it sticks up. There we go. So it sticks up above the fold. So I'm not going to cut all the way up. And I'm going to stick this down here. So when you flip it over, you can see part of your die is actually sticking up above the, the seam or the, the folded part, the, the crease however you want to call that. <laughs> so stick that up there and then cut it. Now, when we're going to cut this, we're actually not going to run this all the way through. I want to make sure I don't cut too far. So I'm just going to cut going all the way up. And this is my crossover two machine. I love it because I can dial in and dial out. I'm going to go about to there. So I'm only going to cut to about here and I'm going to dial it back up or I'm going to roll it back out again. So I'm not cutting all the way through. I'm just being careful. And if you notice, look where I, cut. I mean, I could have gone all the way through. I just choose to personally not. Somehow I miss, makes myself feel a little bit better. And I'm just gonna slide this off because we're gonna come back to my die cut machine in a little bit because we're gonna do one other die cut. So I'm just gonna kind of hang that out over there. 
And so, whoops, there's a little bug that decided to crawl, crawl across my space right there. So I'm gonna remove the die and then here we go. Here is the card. So since I already had that fold, look at that. I didn't go all the way through. I didn't cut all the way through. It's got a little bit of the coolness. And then now I have this really cool shaped card. That's a background piece. And you're going, well, it's cut off. Well, yeah, I know it's cut off. That's why we cut out another one <laughs> that places it on top, right? So I cut the exact same piece, just the exact same die. Let me pull this off. Just in another sheet of white cardstock. You could totally change this to be another type of card color. You could have it be pattern paper, whatever you want. And that is gonna fit exactly on top. I actually like this side better, the, the little, it's got this really pretty little kind of embossing on the corner of this die. I love it. It's got a really cool shape. I don't know if you guys can see that. My, it's not allowing, I think you can see it on here a little bit better. It's got this, it's really kind of, it's very, very small detail, super fine, but it's really, really pretty. So you can see this little bit of an embossing edge going all the way around. It just adds a little something fun and fancy to the card. So now we have this. So what I'm gonna do, grab my pieces and all through here, I'm going to stick this down. And yes, I will move my die cutting machine in a minute. There's one other thing we need to die cut first before we get there. All right, so now I have the base of my card. So this is now my new base. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of an edge that sticks up. Look at that, there's a tiny bit of an edge. And even on her card, there's just a little bit of an edge that sticks up, but it still is a card that would fit. This would be a six by six. And these are both a two size cards. And then you can build from there. So that's what's beautiful about this is that just kind of reimagine the shape of your cards and you can create kind of whatever you want. So then what I've done, is we're gonna create the base. Now for this one, I went through and I found just, it, it's a sea life. So these digi images, this little seahorse and also these little um, sand dollar and a clam are all from the TLC Designs Digi. And so you can find all the links for all the supplies I'm using down in the information section. So you can look up TLC Designs, the dies and the digi images and then all the other fun things like my crossover and the Zyron are all down there as well. So what I did is now, now we're going to move on to the next thing. Now, you may not be able to tell from this, but I did add a little bit of some fun background pieces. There is this really cool die out there, sorry, embossing folder out there. I love it, but I don't own it. And so I was like, how can I get that to like, how can I create my own version of that? So I'm just taking a little bit of paper and this is a, People call them all different kinds of things, but they've got little dots on the end. So you can use them to help create flowers. It's basically like a little embossing tool. This is a sh smaller point. This is a little bit of a bigger point. And there's even bigger balls that you can get and create. Basically it creates like you can push into the paper and create different kinds of patterns. You can also use them. They're styluses to help do um, for bone folding and stuff. So there's all different kinds of styluses that are out there. But I wanted to create this kind of really just a tiny, tiny bit of basically DIY embossing, like for dry embossing, not heat embossing, but dry embossing. And I wanted to create kind of like some waves in the background. It's going to be very, very subtle. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little dot here thing and roll it around. And there's, there's a whole, if you have the embossing folder, by all means use it. But I don't own that. So I'm like, well, how can I recreate this concept? of kind of like waves in the background. And I'm just taking the paper. This is a mouse pad, by the way. There are, I have, I have one of them. And if you notice, I'm just creating waves in the background here. I have one of those specific folders. You can see a little ingrain on here now. Hi, Nemoc. Hello, Mary. So many people on. Hello, hello. It's a Saturday. I'm usually on Wednesdays, but we had pretty iffy power on Wednesday. It's been chaos. It's been really, really uh, an interesting kind of scenario happening around here in Austin, Texas, let me tell you. So now I've got all of these really cool lines on here. It's just creating kind of like currents in the background on my water. That's kind of what I want. And then I, I wanted to do that first because I wanted to have a bigger space. And then now I'm gonna place the dye. So here is this same color. I'm gonna place the dye right here. There we go. And then we're going to die cut this out. So that's why I didn't need to die yet. So now we're going to pull this guy back. Come on back. Oh, I have it. Just off. There we go. And then we're going to get rid, of Ooh, get rid of this big giant thing. So now we're going to place this on here. Roll this out. Yes, I have power. 
yeah, so far the house is doing fine. We haven't had any issues. Some of our neighbors have had some leaks, pipes bust, water heaters uh, busting. We've had all kinds of crazy stories that we've been hearing from our neighborhood, like just across the street. Some of our neighbors have pools and the pipes have burst on their pools. It's crazy. All right, let me get all that mess out of the way. Now I have this piece and so it, it's, we're okay. Everybody's fine, everybody's safe. We have heat, we have power. It's actually been a beautiful sunny day today. So that's, that's just, yay. <laughs> you know, there's so many things that we didn't have for so long that now that we have them, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air and it feels so amazing. Okay, so now I have my background piece. It's gonna fit here. We're gonna place this on here. And I gotta remember which one's with my side that goes up. So this just is, it's a wonderful little nesting set because this piece fits in here. I'm gonna get rid of the little extra bit there. So oh, that goes this way. And it's got a little bit of some embossing on there. And then the outer piece fits here. So there we go. We're still under a boil ban. So we can do, we're, we're having to be very careful about running dishwasher and running uh, clothing through the washing machine and also running um, any kind of massive like we're, we're being very careful about showers we don't have to do boiling water for any of those things but we do have to boil water for anything that we drink but fema came through and they had a distribution point where they gave us um, a case of bottled water you drove through and it was like a kind of a central location for all of our city and so we were able to drive through and pick up water that was like bottled water and they had like seven or eight different lines. So we all drove through there and it took like 20 minutes to get in and out of there. And it was one per car. So we now have safe drinking water that we don't have to boil, which is nice. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're waiting for things to kind of get back in the swing and then we'll be moving along. So one day at a time, that's where we're at. <laughs> okay, so now I wanna create the sea drift. So I cut another one of that same piece just in kind of like a pretty sand color. And I am going to just, and this is the other half, I used one half over here, and I'm just gonna create a little bit of a sand drift. There we go. So just like that, right? And then I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive just at the bottom, because I'm gonna tuck some things inside of there. So just at the bottom, layered in there, make it match just perfectly. And now I have a little sea drift, super cute. And then I was like, you know what? I really want to have some like sea kelp because I had this super cute little seahorse. And so I took some just, this is like bow bunny paper that's got dots on one side, but it just looked like sea kelp. It looked really pretty. It kind of fit within the color scheme. And all I'm doing is creating just some kelp, some seaweed. Because I always want seahorses hang out. So there's one, right? I'm going to create four, I think. I'm going to come along. And I can always kind of tweak them. Oh, it's still attached. So here's another one. I'm going to come in here. There's another one. And then do another one. And I'm going to probably shorten them up. So there's my four, right? So now I'm going to play with it. Sometimes I want to have the dots facing up. And sometimes I want to have the dots facing down. But this to me right here is just, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just a little too harsh for me of a line. So I'm gonna come in this way and just shorten it up. Just, just make it a little softer looking, a little more natural, a little more of a curvature versus straight lines. So just a little bit more of a curvature. I could get out my fancy scissors, but I like the big ones because I can make better straight lines instead of having to cut so much. And I think all the other ones look pretty darn good. So then I kind of come in and I go, okay, well that's a little too long. So I'm gonna snip that and place that. I don't want them to be too short because we gotta put our seahorse on there. I want another big long one kind of coming up here. It's okay if it kind of comes off my page. I think it looks kind of cool. Here's another fun one. And then let's do this guy kind of hanging out there. So there's a little bit of like seaweed, sea kelp, however you wanna call it. I know they're two different things, but you get the idea, a greenery in the background. is what we're going for here. Then we're going to start placing all of our sea animals. So these guys, I, I downloaded the image and you can get them at TLC Designs. Uh, her, her, her link is down below for her shop. And I sized them down. 
These two ones, like the um, the clam, I sized down to be 20, no, 50% of its normal size. The sea star and the seahorse, I did 25% of its normal size. And they're really fast because I don't have dyes that match. If you've got a brother scan and cut, that works too, but I just super fast. I love these scissors because it makes so much easier to fussy cut out. Some people love fussy cutting. They, they think it's like, it, it's a little bit of some therapy sitting there. They'll color a whole bunch of images. And these ones came pre-colored, so I didn't have to color them, which was fantastic. But if you're into the coloring, you can also print the images out and color them yourself. And you can make them whatever size strikes your fancy. So I think coloring is a great way to relieve stress. You know, I'm definitely, we're under a lot of stress here right now where we live. Tensions are on high for a lot of things, but we're also super grateful for all the little things that we have in our life. So I cannot express how much I believe that art therapy is a thing. My daughter broke out a little kid's cross stitch that we picked up for Valentine's Day. And she's like, mom, I want to do it. I'm like, awesome. And she's out of her cast. She actually popped her arm out of her cast on her own. <laughs> she's like, mom, guess what? And like she like pulled her arm straight out of her cast. It was so funny. And my hand is doing better, so I'm not having to wear my brace as much. So things are looking up, I will have to say. All right. And then there is my little seahorse. Here it is. Um, you love when it extends over the page. That's fun. I love that. Yeah, and that seahorse is so super cute. So you can get them, like I said, pre-colored. This one is the pre-colored, but you can also get them open so that it'll, you can color it yourself, whatever colors. So I use these colors as my jumping block for what I did. And I just printed it in my Epson printer using the dies. All right, let me move this other stuff out of the way so we can really concentrate on the card. All right, so now I have all my bits. These guys lay flat down. I'm deciding that I'm gonna use my sticker maker because I don't wanna have to try and get in there with glue or it's just is so much easier with a sticker maker. So I'm gonna place my two little sea creatures in there, my clam and my sea star. And if I don't place these down exactly where I have them before, totally fine. And then just place these, I'm gonna call it seaweed, just for lack of a better term. It's, not, it's like seagrass, there we go, seagrass, we're gonna call it seagrass, in here and start pulling. There we go, I'm trying to be as economical as I possibly can with this, and then pull this up. But it makes making, turning these into a sticker makes life so much easier. It's like worlds of difference in terms of Try to get glue on there, get your tape runner in there. The hardest part is getting the top layer off. <laughs> Peel that off. There we go. And then what's left behind, these are stickers. I know I overlapped it, but it'll still work. And I just got to do my best to remember where I stuck everything. So a little bit right there. I don't want it to come to, oh, I'm going to go a little bit higher. I don't want it to go off the edge of the card, but I want it to be there. So that's a dot. And then now I'm going to do, let's do this one here. I'm kind of leaving this space open. So if it crosses over, totally cool. That's out of another dot going off this way. A little bit of seagrass there. So I, I, I totally just changed out the look of it from what it originally started. And there it is, just a little seagrass hanging off in the corner there. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Vidette. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so glad everybody's gotten on. Hey, hey. All right, and now we have our little sea star, which I'm gonna hold off. I'm going to tear that so I don't forget where it is. And I'm going to pop this up. So I just kind of hunted around for some pop dots. I found these little squares here. So we're going to use those. So I just put pop dots, foam dots, double-sided foam adhesive, whatever you want to call it, right here. And place that. And I kind of want it coming down. I want to see, oh, see, this one gets totally lost. So this is what I'm going to do. If you've got a little bit of wiggle room, the bottom of the seahorse, so now, look, watch. So I've pushed that up. Now I can see a little bit more, right? They're supposed to hide in the seagrass, so I don't want to completely have it be too much. I'm thinking maybe I might move this guy over. If you wait too long though, you can't move them. So you gotta do it pretty quickly. So here, let me look. I'm kind of finagling based on how I see this. That's too much of a gap for me. I don't like that. It's too much gap. There we go. All right, now I like it. Now I'm good. And just stick that down. And there they are. And then now I have my little sea star. There's just, there we go. It goes right there. It kind of fits in. And my little clam, I could change them around. 
but it just kind of finishes it off. Creates a little bit of something fun and interest at the bottom. I have I have the need to want to feel like I'm warm. <laughs> we did get warm. We got up to 60 today. Woohoo! <laughs> Which is strange considering in Austin, you don't think of us as being like super, super cold, but man, it got cold and without, without power, it got so freakishly cold. It was insanely cold here. I cannot, I mean, some of you guys live in the North, you totally understand how cold it can get. Now I want to add some fun little bubbles and I found this little pack of sequins. So I figured I'd do them all the same. I do have the stamp set. So this stamp set came from, this is just another example of a fun shaped card background using a fun die. This die is for these guys right here. My camera is all wonky compared to where my space is. So now I have some really cool little sequins and let me grab my little tool. I forgot to grab it ahead of time. A really fun tool. It's my little tool. They're cool. It allows you to pick up your sequins like that. And so I'm just going to play around. I felt like the colors kind of matched with what I had. So I'm going to go with it. Um, so I'm, it, they're bubbles. The sequins are going to act like bubbles on here, right? So I'm just going to imagine I put my Celebrate stamp right there. I just want a couple little bubbles up here. So I'm just going to use a little bit. This is a dual tip max glue pen from Super Tight. And I'm going to place just a little dot of glue right there. A little one right there. And then maybe right there and right there, just kind of like that. And then I'm going to do the white. There we go. I'm going to do the white for the big one on both. There we go. Flip it over. So this is already kind of tacky and sticky. Uh, there's a few different ones. They're called katanas. They're really cool. And some of them you have to like replace them. These ones, the one I'm using, you don't have to replace because it stays sticky. It's like a wax ending. It's pretty awesome. I'm just, I like mine so that it's cup side up. I'm really weird about that. And then I'm going to take one more bubble, which is going to be that there's one that looks like it's the same color as my background. And I'm going to kind of put it on top and then do another one. So I don't want to, remember, odd numbers look good, right? So we're going to play with that. Heard it got to six degrees. Yes. So yeah, we got down to just straight degrees without having to have any wind chill. The, the lowest my temperature got that I noticed on my phone, granted we were without phone and without power and I wasn't getting updates for much of anything for a little while. So truthfully, I'm not sure how cold it truly got at a specific time unless I went back and looked at it later. So just a few little bubbles is what we're gonna do. And I think I'm gonna add one more. We got down to seven degrees. So, it, and that's, I live right outside of Austin. So there we go bubbles right there um that was tuesday monday night it got pretty pretty cold as well um we lost power starting at i have a video on this if you ever want to go see what exactly was going on around here but we lost power monday morning which was the 15th at three o'clock in the morning it the power came back on three separate times the first time was for two hours and we, we were told we were getting rolling blackouts and then it didn't, and we did for two hours and then it shut off and then we had like 30 minutes and then we were off for 18 hours and that included overnight. Um, it got pretty, pretty darn cold in our house. We got down to about 49.50, I wanna say. There it is. Just pretend I put the Celebrate on there. <laughs> and that's a cute, super cute card. So um, it, but we like, we're not prepared for the cold. When you don't have power to heat up, even our furnace, like everything we have, nothing is preparing us to really go anything below about 25 degrees is about the normal low that we get. Anything below that is kind of like, what the heck is going on? So that's about where we're at. So the Celebrate is just right here. Actually, I have a little, it's right here. We can stamp that real fast. I have some scratch paper I can throw that on. I always have little bits here. I'll just put it on here. So just a little black. There we go. We'll celebrate off in the corner. I'm kind of, I like that it's kind of not also, I know some people like you have to make it perfect. You have to make it look, I actually kind of like it that sometimes it looks at what I would call a little distressed because when you're underwater, things are look like it's bubbly. You know, it, it looks like it's been eroded or kind of washed away. So for this particular card, I love the fact that the celebrate, because the celebrate, this is going to be part of my birthday card swap. So I'm going to add these two cards to my birthday card swap. And then I'm taking one of my little pop dots here, cut it in half. And so celebrate could go a lot of different ways. It could go for birthday, 
It could go for lots of things. It doesn't have to be super specific. But as you can tell, you can take a fun shape for a die, turn it around, and definitely turn it into something that is a cool shape for a ba background card. So if you've got some fun shaped dies that are really kind of fun, here's a few others that I have. This is from the same company, so look at this one. And if you go back to the beginning of the video, basically you cut out the size of the card that you want. So if you want a, an A2 size card, just don't put the die all the way up to the top. So you only cut up to a certain point and then you put your other frame. So part of your card is actually sticking up the top and it works great. So here you can see on this one, this one right here, same thing. So when they open up, you still get a full space of a card. And then, so that's this one here is that outside nesting die. But then here's a few other fun ones. There's so many dies out there that you can really have a ton of fun with. And then you just kind of play around with the new shape that you have and create a really cool little background or a little cool card with a fun new background. And these ones all happen to be from TLC Designs, which all, again, all the links that I've used today are down below. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I truly, truly appreciate it. We are starting to get back in the swing of things. Uh, I, we are definitely, we have power, obviously. We have internet, obviously. Um, we are still under a boil water notice. So we have to be very careful to make sure that any water that we're drinking or cooking with that we boil to bring to a rolling boil. But we do have water coming out of our taps. We're just not sure if it's safe or not, you know. We also had FEMA come to our city and we had a drop of, you had to get in line with your car. It lasted about 20 minutes. It only took about five minutes to drive there, got in line. It was super, super fast. And every car going through the line got a case of water. So every, we got 24 bottles of water for our family. Um, and we had a store of stuff. They're starting to start roll in a ton of, um, because everything is thawed. I mean, we still have snow on the ground. And the, the part of the problem around here is that we don't have all the infrastructure for like de-icing machines and sand. Like we have some, but not, we don't have snow plows. Like we don't even own snow shovels, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, it's just, we're not prepared for like massively cold and ice and for days. So, and then with the power turning off and everybody just being really cold in their houses for a long time, really throws a wrench into everything. And then on top of that, you lose water. Makes for a very fun, creative time to live in your house. <laughs> but we played board games and we played, I taught my kids poker. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got creative with a few things. We pulled out the diamond dots. We did that. We did some paint by number. We, you know, talked, we built a fire. We have a fireplace, but it's more ornamental. It's a gas fire. It's not really meant to push out heat, but we used it because it was some sort of heat that we didn't have before. We bundled up. We did the best we could. Just kind of reading some of your comments. I live in just outside of Austin, Texas. So we got hit pretty hard with all the crazy, what I'm going to call snowmageddon <laughs> of 2021. But yeah, we got we got nailed pretty hard. We have a lot of our neighbors. I see a neighbor, one of the girls that my daughter plays with, they had a massive water leak in just above. It was actually like a snow dam, an ice dam on the roof above their garage. And so it leaked through because water was pouring through and their whole garage just got flooded with water coming through and all the ceiling and everything around there. Uh, we've heard a lot of water heaters. Some water heaters are on the main level of the house. Some water heaters are up in the attics around here. And the ones that were in the attics, they uh, a lot of them froze. And then as everything thawed, the pipes burst and flooded uh, master bedrooms because they were above the master bedroom. You know, water cascading through the walls of the house. I mean, there's there's so much water damage from pipes bursting that it just like people I know, like my son's um, geography teacher, he's like, my master bedroom is flooded because we had a pipe burst. So it, it's crazy. Uh, we're supposed to be going back to, we had school all off. The kids had no school. Um, we're going back to virtual for everybody in the district starting on Monday and Tuesday. And I think they're kind of playing it by ear, but even some of the schools around here have gotten flooded and have damage. So they're having to figure out how to do all this on top of the pandemic. <laughs> so, but we're getting food. That was the biggest problem. The shelves, people were running to the stores because we didn't have a whole lot of anything. And so people were running to the stores to get food, food stores and just all the other stuff. Um, but we're getting replenished now. We, we're, we were seeing FedEx trucks and UPS trucks and Amazon Prime trucks running through our neighborhood again so, because the roads are safe. It's We've had two straight days of sun and above freezing. So the, the roads are finally thawed out enough that it's not a problem. 
and because we don't have snow plows. So we have to rely on the sun to help us and the heat to help us. And I think we still have some snow on the ground. We still have ice. We keep hearing the crashing of the icicles and we're like, what was that? We're all like paranoid about what the next thing is. We're like, is the water going to turn off again? And every now and then it does get turned off and it gets turned back on. So we're, we're kind of like, is the water on? Is it off? There's been some neighborhoods we've heard of. They've lost power for like 20 minutes and it came back on. And we, we, we all thought we were kind of in the clear on that, but it's been hit and miss here and there. But for the most part, things are on the up and up, which is yay. <laughs> to send the damages we were in the backyard with us today within our in our backyard today and we were looking at like what plants survived and uh, they were encased in we had an ice storm so we had we had rain which iced over everything and then that iced and then we had snow then we had about eight inches to a foot of snow depending it was pretty it, it was like overnight it dumped on us we've never had that much snow ever that i can recall um we hit some records around here let's put it that way and then we had another freezing rain and then we had even more snow on top of that. So not prepared for that at all. So I'm just looking to see what you guys are reading, what you're saying. Uh, yeah, coming off the, yeah, we had some icicles and some of the icicles, they're like three or four feet long and they were dripping and all of a sudden you hear a crash, 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 boom. And you're like, what in the world was that? <laughs> you know, you're not expecting that. Um, so it's crazy. No, it is not too late to send your birthday cards. You are more than welcome to. I actually have it going through, I want to say, to like mid-March. So there's still plenty of time. I haven't been able to go pick up any cards. No mail has been, like we've been on a halt. There's been no trash. Obviously, everything's been shut down. So no trash pickup, no mail delivery. This is the first day I have seen in a week that we've had any kind of, besides personal vehicles or emergency vehicles, come through the neighborhood and just do delivery of any kind anything. Um, so it's, it's been a lot, <laughs> but you know, this is my, this is my thing. This is what I love to do. I love to create, I, you know, I was kind of thinking about what do I want to do? And I missed my, my Wednesday card, my live card making Wednesdays because, uh, yeah, we were, we, we just had power, but I was afraid I would go live and all of a sudden it would come back down again. Plus it was just, it was too stressful. Even though this is a de-stressing moment for me, I was so paranoid about the fact that I would get going and then it would shut down on me. And so, cause we weren't sure, we weren't sure. We were without power for about 50 hours, something like that. A good full two days, let's put it that way. But yeah, it was crazy. Um, if we get too much ice or snow, I'm outside banging off the trees to keep them from bending too far. Yeah, we, we drove around today and we noticed that there was a lot of trees that the ice, because we had, again, we had ice and snow, then ice and snow, and they just got laden and laden. And we didn't have any temperatures above freezing, so they just kept on getting piled on and piled on and piled on, and hardly any sunny day, with one sunny day in the middle of all that. So it just got worse and worse and worse, and lots of trees breaking. We're not even sure what plants have survived. My onion survived. I have a pretty massive garden and my onions have survived and I didn't do any massive planting yet. So we haven't put any of the spring stuff in yet because we were like waiting for the, the last freeze. And we always know there's something happening in February, but we were not expecting this. Um, a lot of rain and some flooding here in West Central Georgia. Nothing like we had here in Austin. Um, yeah, I wouldn't wish what we went through on anybody, but, you know, we've had so many different like texting and cell phone reception while everything was down because the, the cell phone towers were down for a while too. But all of the, the neighbors, we, once we got a little bit of power, everybody's phones were kind of up and running. And then like the text started flooding through because the cell phone towers started getting power too, I think. And everybody was like, what do you need? What, what do you need? We, we, we filled up our bathtub with water. If you need water to help flush toilets, because a lot of people were collecting snow and melting it to flush toilets. That was a big thing. Um, we had a, pool and some other neighbors have pools they're like gather your pool water start dumping it in your spa but we were so careful about opening the doors because we didn't want to let the house cool down too much by opening up the back door the front door and just losing any heat that we had so we were being pretty careful um you don't plant to the end of may beginning of june yeah we can usually plant normally not this year apparently <laughs> um spring break time so mid-march for here in austin and then at that point we're kind of past any threat of a freeze but there's a lot of things you kind of can plant at least for us normally not this year apparently um that can survive freezes so like lettuces and things like that usually can survive not like massive snow and ice but just 
And like I said, normally we're used to maybe getting down, like we hit below freezing. We're like, oh, we're below freezing. This is a weird thing. Like we're, it, we're just not used to that at all. Um, maybe 25. I can't remember the last time we got into the teens and then we all, we hit like seven. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, wait, it'll be 90 in two weeks. Yeah. I think we're supposed to hit 70 degrees. We're supposed to hit 70 like next couple of days, right Mike? He's not listening, it's my husband. Yeah, I mean, the next couple of days we're supposed to hit 70 and then we dip back down. We're supposed to get a ton of rain. Not like we need more water right now, but that's okay. Um, we're not freezing, so I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're gonna get back up into the heat in, in no time. So, but I, I actually felt warm for the first time and I don't know how long and I, I was kicking sheets off of my bed going, oh, I feel a little bit warmer than normal because we were freezing for so long. And then I had a shower. Oh my God, a shower feels so amazing when you're not, when you haven't had one in so long. Oh, showers are awesome. <laughs> so thank you. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm on a rant, but you guys, I mean, it, unless you're here and seeing what's going on, people, stores have opened back up, food starting to be distributed. The, the, the crazy, like what happened at the beginning of COVID when everybody ran, ran to the grocery stores and were picking up whatever they could because they're not sure when they, like the toilet paper shortage, it happened again here. We were out of everything. So right now, I think we're still short on bottled water for sure. Um, any kind of drinking liquid water-ish kind of scenario. Um, eggs and milk are another two big things that we don't have around here. And so if you have an egg, you're like, oh, can I save the eggs? save the eggs, save the milk. <laughs> um, and then bread, bread of any kind. Those are the three main things that are the really short things right now, but they're all coming back. Like I said, so we're getting there. We'll be, we'll be fine. We're, we're turning it around. Now we're just hoping we don't get crazy electricity bills. That's the next thing that's on everybody's like, and all the other stuff that's going on. It's like, it just keeps kind of adding and piling up and piling up, but we'll get there. We'll get there. It'll be a good day. One, one day, eventually we'll be there. But for today, we're making fun cards, <laughs> de-stressing a little bit in whatever shape we can, right? <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button. Sorry to rant on about what's going on around here, but there's questions, and I know a lot of people have been asking about what's going on. Um, if you are curious about what it was really like and how cold it got around here, I did have a video where I kind of explained more about what was going on, and so you can check that out. But you know, there's tons of stories online, good and bad, but I've seen a lot more good than bad, which I think is amazing. The other neighborhood really banded together and stuck together and helped out whatever in whatever shape we could. So, yay. <laughs> so stay safe out there. If you are still without any kind of power or electricity or if you just got it back or if you're having problems, hugs to you. I truly, truly wish that everything is going great in your life. I know that the pandemic's still going on and everything else that's been going on. It's been a crazy year because we've been about a year now since everybody went in line. Almost a year. Almost a year. Whew. I'm done. I, the best meme I saw was, I'm tired of living in events that are going to be in history books. I'm totally there. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.